Hello, hello, welcome to Club Chrisette. I'm your host, Chrisette, and welcome back to Zero Escape. Nine hours, nine person, nine doors. So when we last left off, we, we finished the first cabin puzzle, and we discovered that Seven was acting a little strange. He left the last door unlocked, and we're unsure why. I think it's because he wanted to go back and get the safe, because as we discovered, we didn't need to open up the safe to resolve the puzzle but I'm not too sure what his real motives are that's just me speculating as uh, as someone playing the game and we also learned the important lesson of clicking everything more properly or at least I did well let's see what we're gonna be going into now whenever the game's ready <laughs> oh, a metal grate? yes it is a metal grate why is this thing... Is, is he really trying to move it by force? Like, <laughs> has he not seen himself? He's not exactly all muscle. Figures. Are those elevators over there? Possibly. No way to know if they're working or not from here. Oh, uh, there's a door just to the left of this grate. Sounds like it's locked. It sounds like it's locked? I mean, I know he has, like, supersonic hearing, but can he just hear if a door is locked or not? Yep. Stairs leading down. Hmm. They're blocked by the grate, though. This is getting more and more dank and rumpa the more I play, I swear. But this here seems accessible. So we can open it? Nah, uh, I think it's locked, too. Look. What's this mark? The female symbol? No. The Venus symbol, I imagine. <laughs> Do you recall the similar symbols near the large central stairway? Ah, Snake's right. In the first episode on different doors, we saw the Sun and the Earth symbol, as well as the Saturn symbol. I wonder why all the astronomical symbols are being uh, shown to us. They reference many of the solar bodies. Mm-hmm. Oh, th that's right. The Sun, Saturn, and Earth. So, as you can see, that one is likely not the woman symbol, but a Venus symbol. Mm-hmm. So I assume. Hmm. Hold on. Where's Seven? Ah, there he is, down that hallway. This way, Snake. Follow me. Hmm. I wonder if this door will... How about that? It opens. Hmm. Another puzzle, I assume? Oh, wow. Oh, it's like a mini casino, almost. I thought it was a bar at first, with the first image we saw. Is this some kind of casino? Sure looks like one. Well, this is troubling. <laughs> it seems we are once again locked in. Even if that door was open, it's not like we had anywhere to go that way. Dreampay's not so wrong. So we must find another exit, then. Alright, guys, let's split up and search this room. Come on, no dawdling, let's go. Quickly now. Okay. I'm trying to even think where to begin. I guess the slots. It says one on the plate. The coin slot. So I've got symbols for heart, spade, and diamond here. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a um, pattern that we have to follow and achieve and getting in all of the slots. It says number two on the plate. So I've got the heart, spade, and diamond here. So, so far everything's the same with the exception of the numbers. Heart, spade, and diamond again. Okay. The slot machine looks pretty old-fashioned. There's no rust, though. 
So it probably still works. The drawer they use to pick up money. It's locked tight. I can't get it open. Hmm. Okay, so I'm guessing all of the money drawer. The stand for the slot machine. I don't see anything suspicious. So we can check out the stands too. Let's see. Um all of nothing. Okay. Usually the way these things work is if that well, usually the way these things work is that if the reels match, a whole bunch of coins come out. Exchanging those coins for prizes is the best part, though. A prize, huh? I wonder what might happen if we were to match all the reels. I imagine the prize would be the tools to lead our way out of this room. Oh! Oh! That... Yes, let's go forward. An ace. This card seems to be attached to the panel. And attached very well, it seems. If you don't mind, what sort of card is this? It's a playing card. The Ace of Spades, in fact. It says nine. Yeah, it looks like... <laughs> yeah, it looks like that cover is hiding something. If this is the cover, then it, it maybe opens up. Probably does. It looks like a card's supposed to fit in here. Yeah. Looks like one card per slot. Huh. Cards. Interesting. Okay, then let's go to the gambling table. Perfect. A three of spades. We also found the Ace of Spades. Let's check out the table a little bit more. Wow, this place is like super amazing. What's this place for? Probably for playing. <laughs> Probably for playing card games. It looks a little off though. How so? Yeah, look at the middle of the table. There's something mountain on it, see? Oh yeah. Ugh. Baccarat. Baccarat, that's how you say that. You ever played Jupe? No, uh, never. All right then, how about I explain the rules to you a bit? See, Baccarat is kind of an unusual game. You've got the banker and the player. The whole point is that you guess which one's gonna win. And whether the banker or the player wins, it all depends on their hands. The way each hand works is different from other games too. You see, you take the number from the ones place after you add up the value of all your cards. Whoever gets the number closest to 9 wins. If your number is smaller than your opponent's, you lose. And that's it. That's the explanation. Got it? Well, actually, there's a lot more to it. Strategy, details, that sort of stuff. But what I just told you sums up the core of the game pretty well. Okay. The single digit of the sum of all the cards you have. The strongest hand is a 9. And the weakest hand is a 0. You just ignore the number in the 10 spot. Do you get it? Uh, yeah. Well, uh, maybe half of it. Enough. I got a chance at winning the game if I played now. However, we have no way of knowing if the puzzle in the Baccarat table makes use of those rules. And if it does, in what manner? Ah, uh, Snake's got a good point. All the puzzles so far, I mean all two of them that we've encountered, <laughs> don't necessarily play by the actual rules that they're supposed to be in, like the piano puzzle, none of the keys were in the right spot. Then I guess we try everything. I can see the playing card behind the thick glass. It's the eight of spades. Hey seven, are we really supposed to play Baccarat? It's a Baccarat table. <laughs> what the hell else would we do with it? Hmm. I'll stop worrying about it. It's real simple. What's the opponent's hand? 
Well, there's an 8 in the glass case. Alright, then that's your opponent's number. If that's the case, what three cards do we need to get the number? Three cards. There are a couple of indentations and white lines around them. Those mean we gotta put down three cards. So... Place three cards here and defeat the opponent's eight. That's what I've gotta do, I guess. Something tells me those aren't the only rules. Alright, let's give this a shot. Before I'd start, I'd better make sure I've got the rules straight. The, there are three empty indentations. I just gotta pick a card and play it. I figured if I put them in the right spot, something ought to happen. Alright, let's give it a try. But all I've got is the one card. And that's our three of spades. Everything in this room so far is related to spades. So it seems. I wouldn't be surprised if we had to get the reels right on the slots to open up the money uh, drawer to get the cards that we need. Because I'm out of cards right now. Let's investigate a bit more. A five of cards. Perfect. Uh, five, a little, a five of spades. I, <laughs> I can English. Not very well, mind you. Hey, Junpei. I found this on the shelf. Hmm? A playing card. A four. So far, so good. Junpei, I found this on the counter. It feels like a playing card. Oh, bless your heart, Snake. You're trying your best. A seven. I wouldn't be surprised if we have to get the digital root somehow. The counter's pretty well polished. Well, will you look at that? Someone left a bottle of booze here. Don't mind if I do. Chug, chug, chug. Ah. Oh, that hits the spot. Feels like my throat's burning. Damn, he, he really drank it. We don't even know how long it's been there. We don't even know if it's poisoned or not. I don't think Zero would do that, though. The chandelier hangs, chandelier-like, from the ceiling. Check out that stained glass. How beautiful. Oh, poor Snake, he can't even see it, but he's agreeing that it's beautiful. What? Huh? Stained glass is colored pieces of glass placed together in a frame. As I've said many times before, I only need touch it to know. I can at least discern the basic structure. There are four chairs surrounding the square table. Oh, right, and behind us. I didn't even think to look over here. Junpei, I can feel a frame here. What sort of painting is it? Clouds, maybe. Clouds? Well, maybe it's a rabbit. A rabbit? Well, if it's not that, it might, <laughs> it might be a close-up of some teeth. Oh, I guess there's actually nothing there. Ugh. There's a blank canvas in a frame. I see. How strange. How strange indeed. Playing card! Didn't think I'd find a card here. A six. Like I said, I think we're gonna have to get digital root of nine in order to surpass this puzzle. Because I know Zero's obsessed with the digital root in this game. There's a weird looking thing floating in here. There's a weird looking thing floating in there, okay. Wait, when those light 
two lights turned on. I heard something from the fireplace. What was that? I heard something down there. Okay, then let's... Coin bag. Let's search it. There are a whole bunch of coins stuffed into this bag. Look at all these coins. Perhaps these coins will allow us to convince the machines to move. Oh, that's true, though. Alright, let's put a coin in from that bag in here. What happened? I heard an odd noise. Uh, well, to be honest, I don't know. I pressed some of the buttons and smacked the machine once or twice, but nothing... Oh! Looks like the coin got stuck. Oh dear. The coins are stuck. Don't think this machine's gonna work anymore. Shoot. Okay, spade, diamond, heart. Gotta keep that in mind. Alright, let's drop this coin into the coin slot. Come on, you little bastards. I only need one of you. Spade. Diamond heart. I got it! Seven, seven, seven! Yes! Sevens! And I think I hear something unlocking in there. Impressive, Junpei. Well, I mean, I've gotten better at these puzzles since I started the game. I'm kind of impressed with myself, though. I'm getting better at this. It would appear to be unlocked now. Is there something akin to a drawer in the bottom part of the machine? That is a pickup drawer for dividend. Perhaps the lock of the drawer got unlocked? Please open it if you would. Right. It is a playing card, I knew it! What is it? Is there something in there? Yeah, a playing card and this... It's a key with the Venus symbol on it. So we can probably unlock that gate that we saw at the beginning of the episode. Excellent, Junpei. Now we'll be able to open the gate. Then we just need to figure out how to get out of this room. Correct. Come, Junpei. Hurry up. And he's off. And there's a playing card and a Venus key. Better put the key in my pocket for later. As for the card, two of spades. It's a coin slot. Let's see, do we have any more money? No? That's it? Okay. Okay, what cards do we have? Before I start, I better make sure I've got all the rules straight. Oh yes, we already read this part. Okay, so like I said, I think we're gonna need to get digital root. Let's see if we just need to get a nine. Alright, if I just put down these three cards. Yep, open for me. Perfect! You did it, Junpei. If you think it's telling us to take the... You think it's telling us to take the eight card? Come on, let's grab it. Alright, let's take this card. Perfect. But this left us with all the high-numbered cards. Okay. Here's a card slot. Looks like we need to put a playing card in here. Alright, let's give it a shot. We should put the 9 in there. Yes! Or the 8, I apologize. What the heck? And in you go. Hey! Alright, it opened up. It seems we have another device to contend with, yes? Oh, yeah. 
There are three slots in this one. Let's see. Three slots for the cards. There's a nine below them. So that probably means we gotta make nine with three cards we put in the slots, right? Just like we did over at the Baccarat table. Alright, let's give it a shot. Can we get the cards back from the Baccarat table, though? If we could, and I'm hoping we can... I've got three cards here. I won't be needing them for this puzzle. Um, hello? Okay, well then I guess... Alright, so I put all the cards we had left into the slots. What happens now? Is that... Yes, I did hear something from the exit. Excellent work, Junpei. Wonderful. It seems the exit is unlocked. Let's go. Okay. I actually... Alright, let's go. I didn't quite expect that one to be that easy. Yes! This way. The keyhole with the Venus symbol. The Venus key should work here. It sounds like it did. Alright, let's get this thing open. No problem. Let me help with this one. It sounds as though you have opened it. We should be able to reach Sea Deck now, I imagine. Snake, uh, are you gonna be alright? I mean, the stairs. Please, do not do yourself the embarrassment of underestimating me. I would be unlikely to trip even if I were running backwards. <laughs> oh, I love Snake so much. Like, I know some of y'all probably think, man, he's just arrogant, but he's confident in himself. He knows he'll be fine. I like that. Good to hear. Let's move. We should check the next deck down, just in case. Just what I thought. D deck is completely underwater. Wonderful. Just like the bottom of the central staircase. I'm just glad the water level hasn't changed much. Back to the C deck then. Now, how about we check out what's here? Yes, I definitely agree. There are two elevators over there, which means it's probably the same upstairs. There's a card reader between them. Hmm. And another weird mark. Hey, uh, check it out. It's the symbol for Lotus. What? See? <laughs> it's got the woman symbol, and then it's got the devil horns, right? <laughs> 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 yeah, I see it. No two ways about it. That was a pretty good one, kid. <laughs> oh, oh, would you watch it, man? Whoa, that hurts. You're gonna break my neck. Oh, man. What are you talking about? The human body ain't that weak. Maybe this will toughen you up, huh? <laughs> Aw, Seven. He's like an older brother. I like that. Uh, if we were looking for a devil, we've got one right here. This is a Mercury symbol. Yes, sir. The marks you mistook for horns are a stylized version of the wings and staff of Hermes. Wings and a staff. Oh, so then... She beats you with the staff until you die and go to heaven. <laughs> Sounds like Lotus, all right. <laughs> Seven. Oh, that's too much. Oh, my head. I wonder if we were in the other group, what would he say? Like, would he still say it was Lotus? I wonder how she would respond. Oh, I think I'm going to puke. Unless we can activate this device, I doubt the elevator will function. In other words, we got to find a key card with a Mercury symbol on it. So I would assume. Mm-hmm. Let's forget the elevators for right now. How about that hallway to the left? Whoa, there's a bunch of doors. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ah, shit. We're not gonna have enough time to check all these, are we? Maybe we can come back here later. We should check out the other side. Let's head back. It's just gonna probably be as many doors. 
Uh, there are doors here too. Uh, well, I guess it's just four this time. Let's open them up, starting with the closest one there. Okay, I'm on it. Huh, it isn't locked. I'm going to open it. And we'll probably get locked in there as soon as you do. What? <gasps> no, this is actually good. We finally found other doors. We're getting closer to finding the door with the number 9 on it, because we just found 7 and 8. This is excellent. We are in a hospital room, so it seems. <laughs> with how many beds there are, I would assume this is a hospital room, or a... Uh, Nurse's wing of sorts. Hey, what... What is this place? It's so huge. And empty. Oh, there are beds everywhere. Mm-hmm. Is this a hospital? The harsh scent in the air is reminiscent of antiseptic solution. <laughs> oh, I know that all too well. That's gonna take me back to my... Uh, acute care days. I think so. There are shelves in the center of the room with medicine and surgical tools. Hey, look there. The four doors at the end. The left door says three. The second door is blank, but the third has a seven. And the rightmost door is eight. There's no doubt. They're numbered doors. Hey, why is that door between three and seven blank? We could ask Zero. Does that mean anything? No point worrying about it right now. Let's see if these will open first. Yeah, good idea. <sighs> yep, locked. Just like I thought. <laughs> Naturally. After all, there are rules to the nonary game. And to allow these doors to open easily would violate those rules. I mean, the blank door could be opened. Unless we can authenticate ourselves with the red, the numbered doors will... Whoa, whoa, check this out. Look at the red. There's nothing on it. Huh? Don't you remember the red back at the main staircase? No, because this is like... Forever ago. <laughs> there wasn't anyone in it. It said vacant on the little screen, remember? Oh, yeah. So that means these aren't even on at this point. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're right. But this one. There's nothing. Right? You think it's broken? Only one way to find out. No, nothing. How about the red on door seven? And door three? I didn't think all of them would be malfunctioning. What does it mean? They've got to be broken. Man, that bastard. I didn't think Zero was the kind of guy who'd screw around with something like this. Right? Whoa, whoa. Zero's been prepared for everything so far, and you're saying he's going to make a mistake now? <laughs> the main character is defending the villain. I love it. Well, that's the only thing I can think of. This thing ain't working at all. Hmm. It seems as if some of the internal hardware has been removed. Is this a puzzle? Internal hardware? That is what I said. Take a look at the underside of this red. If you please. Oh, snake is such a sweetie bun. The bottom? Huh. There's a thin slot here. I think it's a slot for something. Uh, probably electronic. The other two reds are the same. Something's been removed from all three of them. Huh. I get it. So the reds aren't working because somebody pulled out their guts. So to speak. So I assume. But why? And who? I, I mean, it really doesn't make sense. I have no idea. Why on earth would I know something like that? Oh, what now? June! Yes! Ace! Santa! Clover! A and Lotus! Oh man, everyone's like so stunned. They're like, what is this room? Guess everyone's here. 
What are you guys doing? Why are you... That's my line? Perhaps we should exchange information. And that's what we know. I was gonna say, I don't know why they're surprised that there was a destination for everyone to meet back up, considering the doors in the back that will require them to create new groups of sorts. Well, this isn't good. If the red is inactive, we can't keep going. Mm-hmm. What about that big hallway? Maybe there's somewhere in there we might be able to go. No, there's nothing there. The five of us had a quick look. There are plenty more hospital rooms, but nothing else. Hmm. You mean all those doors are for hospital rooms? Yes. There are a number of individual rooms in addition to this large one. There was a door at the end of the hallway, but it was locked. Huh. It had one of those solar system mark things on it. Oh, of course. It was the Jupiter symbol. Jupiter. I wonder what it means. While we're asking what things mean, uh, what's the deal with this room? I mean, I thought this was a cruise ship, but I can't imagine a cruise ship would have a hospital like this. Well, I figure it's probably a hospital ship. Chances are it's the Gigantic. The Gigantic? The Gigantic? Oh, I'm glad I'm not the only one that's confused. What is this Gigantic? The Gigantic. She was a sister ship to the Titanic, built in the early 20th century. Oh. Actually, the Titanic had two sister ships, and they looked exactly the same. The Gigantic was said to be one of them. They intended to make her a passenger liner like the Titanic, but World War I began soon after the ship launched. The British Navy took her over and made her a hospital ship. At some point during the war, the Gigantic was damaged by a German mine in the Aegean Sea. She ran aground afterwards, so she didn't end up sunk. What happened to her after that? One theory going around is that a man named Lord Gordain bought her. Seemed like he'd been one of the few to survive the Titanic sinking. Huh. That trauma turned him into some kind of obsessive collector of all things related to the Titanic. I wouldn't be surprised if this Lord Gordon person is the person holding us captive right now, because he did mention the Titanic at the beginning. Soon enough, the guy wanted the Titanic itself. Which was impossible, of course. It's stuck at the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean. But the Gigantic wasn't. And seeing as she was identical... So you're saying this Lord Gordain bought this ship? Yeah, at least I think I am. <laughs> that's impossible. No way we're in some boat that's almost a hundred years old. Ugh, you'd be surprised, Santa. Pipe down, just pay attention. What, that's it? Well, have you got any proof? Proof? Proof that this ship is really the gigantic. Well, uh, this ship's got stuff that's like the Titanic and a hospital ship. So, I just figured... Don't tell me that's your only reason. No, I I've got more. Like? Well, uh, I mean... I don't know. <laughs> I guess your memory isn't back yet, is it? Yeah, sorry about that. Huh. A bell. The clock. It sounds like the clock in the main stairway. 10, 11, 12, huh, 12. It's midnight. <sighs> we've got six hours to get all of these puzzles solved. And we've still got six hours left, right? Mm-hmm. Let's get going. We've got to find the missing parts for the Reds. Yep. What do you mean, find? How on earth do you propose we do that? We've looked everywhere in this room. But we haven't found anything. Right. That only leaves one place to look. One? Uh, well, not just one. Uh-huh. All the Wait. other rooms. Don't tell me you mean we need to search all of the other rooms. Yes. Well, you already checked some of them out before you came here, right? 
We each checked a single room, so five rooms in total. All right, then. That's five rooms we don't have to search. Right. Yeah. We just have to split up the rest between the eight of us. If each of us can do six rooms apiece, we'll have the other 48 rooms cleared in no time. I like the way he thinks. There are 48 other rooms? <laughs> uh, maybe? I like how he seems to know the precise number even though he's unsure. <sighs> All right, so everyone knows which area they're searching? Yeah. Yes! We'll all meet up when the clock goes off again. Ah, uh, how about in that room with all the beds? Yeah, sounds straightforward enough. I'll shout if I find any of the components we need. I hope we can find them within the time limit. If we can't, then we'll just have to come up with another plan. Right. Then let's do this. It's a one. I better get back to the others. Huh? No one's found anything. What are they doing over there? What happened, guys? Jumpy, look! Vacant? Come on, guys. Who was it? I thought we were supposed to yell if we found it. Well... What the hell? What is up with you guys? Well, that's the thing. We don't know. You don't know? When I got back, it was already like this. Huh. There was no one else here. That means I was the first one back, but... The missing parts were already back in the red. Zero probably did it to delay time. What? Let me see. You're right. It's in there. What about the other two? They're the same. Let me take a look. It's just as you said. All right, I, I just want to be sure here. Nobody has any idea what the hell happened here. Correct. None. <sighs> Huh. Wait a minute. Where's Snake? Does that mean that he found them? I've no idea. There's nothing to suggest it. But nothing to suggest he didn't either. Huh. I don't suppose we'll know until we can ask him in person. Well, whatever he did or didn't do, he's pretty damn late. What the hell is he up to? Maybe he's lost. Yeah, well, that seems likely. Dude can't see. I don't know how he gets around in the first place. No! That's impossible! Yeah, my brother's blind, but he's got really great hearing! He can get around as well as anyone who can see! Hmm... So he... He couldn't get lost! That's impossible! <laughs> I'm gonna go look for him! Hey, uh, hold on, Clover. What? Well, that didn't work. Damn it. What should we do now? Well, the red is working now. No! We're not leaving two people behind! We should go look for them! Oh, man. This ain't good. Oh, yes. What an excellent idea. We just wasted a bunch of time looking for some piece of electronic junk. Now let's waste some more by looking for a couple of idiots. <laughs> In a way, I agree with Santa on this because, um, you know, we are on a time limit to see if we can get out of the ship. But at the same time, we might need the, the people that are lost so we can get through the puzzles and get through the doors. Then remain here if you feel you must, but there's no time. We've only five hours left. Mm-hmm. Let's split up. All right, I'll take this direction. Then I shall look that way. I'll be over here. Let's see you all later. All right, we should go too. Yes, let's go, but... 
Where should we start? That's a good question. Let's see. The first class cabin. Oh, what about the first class cabin on B deck? Okay, let's go, Jumpy. I have a sneaking suspicion, because that door was left unlocked. What should we do, Jump? What should Jumpy do? Talk to her. All right. <laughs> Look, I know you're really worried, but. Um. Loan. Loan? Loan. Hmm? Is that his name? Alone. Or is she saying alone? Hmm? I said leave me alone! Is he dead? You're so annoying! Just go away and leave me alone! Just looking at you guys is pissing me off! <sighs> go away, okay? Just go somewhere else! Stop bothering me! Uh, um... Why are you still here? Didn't you hear me? I mean, it's best to stay together. I know she's mad, but being split up, like, in this situation is the worst situation we could be in. <sighs> huh? Fine, forget it. If you aren't gonna leave, then I'll just... All right, let's go, June. Uh, yeah. <sighs> We really need to find Snake, for Clover's sake. So, uh, where do you think we should go next? The casino? the casino? Let's go take a look. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Isn't it obvious? I'm looking for Snake. <laughs> I like Lotus. I'm just not seeing it. Really? Maybe you need to look harder. I don't think that's the problem. Oh, by the way, I've got a proposal for you two. Care to hear it? Sure. Is it? Well, I don't like to beat around the bush, so I'll get right to it. Why don't we team up? Team up? Yeah. What? You need me to explain it to you? She's talking about going through the doors. I'm saying, why don't we go through a numbered door? Because you can't. Even if we wanted to, that's impossible. Why? Jumpy's bracelet number is five, mine is six, and yours is eight. Our digital route would be one. But there's no number one door in the large hospital room. Right. The only doors there are three, seven, and eight. Then we add another person. Huh? Who? What, isn't that easy? Seven. Oh, if we add seven... Then y'all can go through the number 8 door. 5 plus 6 plus 8 plus 7 equals 26. The digital root of 26, 2 plus 6 equals 8. Wait a minute. What about the other four? Ace, Snake, Santa, and Clover. Well, why don't you add them up? 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 equals 10. And 1 plus 0 equals 1. The digital root for those four would be 1. So they couldn't get through the door. That's right. And you know the number one door isn't in the big hospital room, right? Of course I knew that. No! Are, are you saying you'd leave them behind? I might need to retract my statement on if I like Lotus or not. I feel like I'm on the fence with her quite frequently. Of course not. What kind of woman do you think I am? Once we get off the ship, we could come back and rescue them, couldn't we? Then we wouldn't really be leaving them behind. Don't try to lie to us. I don't think you do anything of the sort. Really? Why do you think that? You remember, don't you? We have less than five hours left. Even if we manage to escape, there's no way we could come back to rescue them in less than five hours. Well, you never know until you try. No, no, you're not thinking this through. Even if we brought Seven with us, we wouldn't be able to get off the ship. The four of us couldn't open door nine. It is hidden, but an exit can be found. Seek a way out. Seek a door that carries a nine. Yeah, yeah, that's right. The digital route for the four of us would be eight, so we'd have to add ace to make nine. That's right. 
Unless we bring Ace 2, we'll be stuck. Oh. Hmm. Well, that's unfortunate. Unfortunate? That's all you have to say? Well, let's try and find another way, okay? A way to get out of here with all eight of us. That's impossible. Are you being serious? And you do know that only five people, at most, can go through one of the numbered doors, right? The number nine isn't going to be an exception to that rule. Regardless, at least three people will get left behind. Huh? Yeah, I, I guess that makes sense. No. Wait just a second. You're skipping over a really big detail. Is that really okay? That means three people will die in the end. Are you okay with that? That's... that's just... Do you think I could have a moment alone? There are some things I need to think about. That didn't turn out to be a very pleasant conversation. <sighs> yeah. Well, regardless, let's just focus on finding Snake for now, okay? Yes, you're right. We can think about those other things later. Yeah. Alright, where should we go next? Can we try going back to the first class cabin after? Let's go take a look at the first class cabin. It's really close. Aren't we gonna just run into Clover again? <sighs> no one's here. Maybe we'll have more luck somewhere else, but where? Hey, uh, why don't we go back to Sea Deck? We can take a look at that hallway with all the rooms. Okay, let's get going then. Oh, it's Ace. Hey, Snake! Where are you? Aw, oh, Ace. Answer me if you're there! Run to let's Ace. Go. Ah, hello there. Snake is... Well, that's obvious, isn't it? I assume you haven't found him yet? Yeah. Yeah, doesn't seem like you're having any luck either. I really wonder where he could have gone. Well, wherever he's disappeared to, we must find him as quickly as we can. For Clover's sake. <sighs> Where he's not... Yeah, we weren't the only one that had that kind of encounter with Clover. Right! By the way, um, do you think Clover and Snake are really siblings? Uh, why would you say that? Why? <laughs> well, it's obvious, isn't it? <laughs> Even June over here is like, what the hell, man? Why are you asking these questions right this second? They don't look alike at all. They could be half-siblings. Come on, now. Yes, you know, now that you mention it, they don't. Still, there are a great many siblings who do not look like one another. It certainly isn't rare. At any rate, we really must find Snake as soon as possible. The clock is ticking. We really can't afford to waste any time. <sighs> Very well. Let's get back to the search, shall we? You can leave this area to me. All right. Let's go, Jumpy. So of course it's going to be in the last area we have to look. I'll think on it later. Something about the conversation with Ace? I don't know, guys. I thought that was a pretty good conversation with him. But if you guys can think of something that was off about it, please post down below so you can give me clarity. Like Ace said, finding Snake is our top priority. Like, it wasn't like the conversation like with Lotus where it was, you know, just ethically immoral. Alright, where should we go next? Why don't we go back to the big hospital room? Okay, let's go then. Hey, wait, that's... Santa? What should Junpei do? Talk to him. W what are you doing? What? You can't tell? I'm checking out the red. Why? Is there something bothering you? What? It's not bothering you? Huh? This... the guts of this red. Huh? Why wouldn't you wonder who the hell put it back in here? Yeah, that's true. I mean, yeah, he's got a point. Like, we still don't know who put it there, removed it in the first place. Well, I'm curious too, but... Who do you think did it? I don't know. Well, what about you, Junpei? Who do you think fixed this thing for us?
Maybe there's someone else on this ship with us. I wouldn't be surprised if there were like minions helping Zero out or bots or some just something like that. That would kind of give explanation to this. You mean someone hiding here? Yeah, well, well I mean it's just an idea. <laughs> and you're saying this mystery person fixed the reds? Yeah. Well, they could have taken it apart, too. Why? To stall us? That's... um... I don't know. Seems unlikely. Why? I don't know. Just a feeling. Hard to believe Zero would bring in a secret tenth player. Uh, I mean, Santa's kind of got a point in that regard. I mean, the name of the game is the Nonary Game, for Christ's sake. You know what Nonary means, right? It means nine. Right. No, that's not what I meant. I mean more like someone who's been living here for a long time. Okay, now Junpei is getting off track. This is just getting kinda... Or someone who, like, stayed here. Like, Lord, what's his face? Seriously? That's even more ridiculous. Why do you think Zero would leave them alone? So, in other words, one of us is the person who fixed the red. Bingo! We have a winner! But if that's true, then the person who did it doesn't want the rest of us to know that they fixed it. Yeah. Snake. But why? No idea. Maybe if they can clean on that, it means we'd find out something else. Something bad. Something bad? Dunno. But whatever it is, it's gotta be worth hiding. Hmm. Of course... It could have something to do with Snake's disappearance. You think maybe they did something to Snake? Yeah. <sighs> Look, if you trust anybody in this game, you're gonna lose. You've gotta be careful. The person you trust the most could turn out to be the one who stabs you in the back. June. And that's that, I guess. <laughs> Where would they go next? I mean, we've looked everywhere already. That snake hasn't been anywhere we've searched. And we can't keep looking for him. Wherever he is, it's not here. We need to get moving. We don't got a choice. Lotus is right. We're not gonna find Snake. There's a problem, though. We've gotta figure out who's gonna go through which door. Yes. I have a proposal. Why don't we decide on one person to sacrifice? Sacrifice? Well, perhaps that's a bit of a harsh word, but yes. You've all figured it out by now, haven't you? We can't all make it through those doors. Right. She just had this sort of conversation with us already, but let's see how it plays out. If we split into two teams of four and three people respectively, then three people will be left behind. If we split into two teams of five and two people respectively, then two people will be left behind. But if we split into two groups of three and leave one person out, then only one person will be left behind. Leaving behind two people with two teams of four and three. Wait a minute. Hmm? Two people get left behind if we split into five and two. And one person is left behind if we split into three, three, and one. I got that part. You can't go through the numbered doors with any less than three people. But if we split into four and three, then why do three people have to be left behind? Just run the numbers. Let's say we go through door seven with one, four, five, six. Right. Who's left over? That would be 378. What's the digital root for that? 3 plus 7 plus 8 is 18, so add 1 and 8, 9. Exactly. But door 9 isn't here, right? Right. That means 3, 7, 8 won't be going anywhere. That was just an example, of course. There are a lot of different combinations, but the result will always be the same. It doesn't matter which four it is. The three that are left over can't go through any of the doors. Huh. Go ahead and calculate it if you have the time. You'll see. 
Anyway, that's how it is. Now, if we can get back to my proposal, we only have to sacrifice one person if we split into three, three, and one. Then... You're saying we gotta decide who's gonna stay behind? Yes, we do. Given our circumstances, it's logically and morally the best solution. If the other six are to survive, then one person has to sacrifice themselves. No! That's too cruel! Man, a lot's just going on in this episode. I didn't expect all of this drama to go down. What's so cruel about it? To... to just sacrifice someone like that? Then what's your plan? Maybe we should sacrifice two people instead of just one. That's not what I meant! We shouldn't sacrifice anyone! I, I told you, that's impossible. Wake up! Whoa, whoa, calm down, you two. Look, what Lotus is trying to say is, you should aim to bring the greatest amount of happiness to the greatest amount of people, right? Exactly. That's how democracy works. And for that reason, I think the only fair way to decide who will be sacrificed is through a vote. What do you think? No! That's terrible! I'm not asking you. Shut up! What about you, Santa? Me? Well, I agree, I guess. All right, that's one vote for. Counting mine, that's two. Seven. I can't say I agree with you, but we don't exactly have a choice. If we don't do something, we're all gonna die. Oh, glad to see you get it. If I can get one more vote, then it's decided. What about you, Clover? Oh, Clover actually came back? Holy crap, I didn't know she came back. I thought she was gonna still be in the hallways rambling away. Hey, Clover. Your brother has to be behind one of the numbered doors. We've searched everywhere, but we didn't find him. Doesn't that mean he has to have gone through one of them somehow? Uh. Let's go look for him together, okay? She's very manipulative, holy crap. If we sacrifice one person, then we can go look for him. You agree with me, right? Okay. <laughs> The motion carries. Jesus Christ. Now, let's start a vote to... That won't be necessary. I will stay. That should solve our problem, yes? Ace, no! Uh. Uh. <laughs> Ace, what are you saying? No, you can't do that! That won't solve anything! June, I'm afraid you may have misunderstood me. I said I would stay, but I never said I would sacrifice myself. Huh? I trust you. Each and every one of you. I believe you'll come back for me. Eight. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's optimistic, and then there's just nuts. Those doors only go one way. You go in, you don't come out. If we go through them... You won't be able to return, correct? Right. Yeah. True. But that will not be the case once you've escaped from the ship. What? Please. I beg you. Once you've escaped, come back and rescue me. Ideally, within the time limit Zero has given us. No, that's ridiculous. There's no way we could get back in time. We've only got five hours left. We don't even know where the hell we are. How on earth are we going to find someone to come and rescue you? Then, perhaps you would prefer to stay instead of me? Oh my god. Or perhaps you would be willing to leave June behind? You see, there's no other choice. Then I see we've come to our conclusion. Go on. Don't worry yourselves about me. Oh my goodness. Ace is such a good man. He's... Go, quickly. Uh... <sighs> hmm. Let's accept his kind offer, then. <sighs> that man is too good. good. I think this is the best for me. Perhaps I'll be able to take a nap. It may be my age, but I get tired so easily these days. I... I kind of start... I'm starting to feel like what, uh... Oh, like what Junpei was saying in the hallway, how what he was saying is sounding weird. 
I feel like what he's saying now also sounds weird, though. Like, it's not quite in his character. Well, what are you waiting for? We're wasting time. Why don't we hurry it up? You're right. We should get going. That's all we can do right now. Seven! Seriously. Honestly, I was getting kind of sick of listening to you guys talk. You too, Santa? I... I have to find my brother. Cl Clover's angst makes sense, though. W wait All of you! Let's just calm down and think about this. There has to be a way to get everyone out. There has to be! Right, Jumpy? Say something! Yeah, let's think. There's gotta be another way. Fine! Forget about it! I'll figure it out on my own! Ace! Come on, Ace! Please stand up! You can't give up yet! We just have to sit down together and think about this! We'll figure out a way that we can all get out of here! <sighs> Ace! What happened? Ace! Say something! I'm alright. How are you alright? This. A syringe? Soparil Beta. What does this do? Did... Did you use this? Yes. It's just... anesthetic. I'll be... fine. He's trying to kill himself. Anesthetic? I found it earlier. While we were searching the... hospital rooms. I thought it might be useful... later. <laughs> I didn't think I'd be... using it on... myself. Why did you do this? Didn't I tell you? I'd like to take a nap. I really am very tired. Ace. Hmm? Is there something you want to say? I just like to sleep a little. Could you keep it down? No, don't, Ace. Don't fall asleep. Ah. <sighs> You feel warm, so comfortable. I think I'll have a nice dream. Ace! Ace! Uh, let's get him up on a bed. Well, we really don't have a choice now. Oh my god. Alrighty. This is a pretty grim place to leave it but I think that's what we're gonna call it for now oh my god I was not expecting Ace to use an anesthetic and sacrifice himself like that that's crazy and for Lotus to actually be able to convince enough people to go with her crazy plan I I really think Junpei was right when he said we're missing a major detail I wonder if there is a way for everyone to be able to escape the ship. I really do. Oh my god. Alrighty, everybody. What do you think is gonna happen next? Which door do you think we should go into? And do you think we're gonna find Snake at all? I really don't know what happened to him. And who do you think took the, the guts out of the red and put them back in? Do you think it was Snake or someone else or even zero but alrighty everybody um <laughs> I'm sorry I'm just trying to process this whole episode like after the puzzle I felt good and now I just feel kind of I got chills <laughs> But already, everybody, I'd like to hear your interesting and creative comments down below. I'm sure you've got something really awesome and very interesting and great to say. And thank you so much for watching my content. It means so much to me. And alrighty, everybody, until next time, you all have a lovely day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!